Now that you've seen the basic quarry, I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced way to use quarries. Instead of just placing it down in it constructing frame for you, we're going to use landmarks. Now landmarks allow you to plot out your own quarry. Here's how you make a landmark. Just grab some sticks and make a redstone torch. Grab those redstone torches and just put some lapis on top and there is your landmark. Once you have your landmarks, just right click to place one and walk down until you figure, well, that looks good to me. And that's in line. Now say I want to go a pretty long distance. Well, the way to mark that easily is just to place a redstone torch next to it and you get yourself a straight line at the max size that you can build a quarry. Now a quarry can be 64 by 64 by 64. That's a little bit big for me. So now I see this is in line. You can place another one to see the line there. And then this one's in line. Now just right click and there is your frame. Now you can take your quarry and just simply place it down next to a landmark and there is your custom frame that you plotted out yourself. Now I like to go around and just pick up all my torches. So let's place three sterling engines down. Now to power it, just place coal or lava. Depends on what you have the most of. Go two up on this one, just get over that engine. There we go. Then, because now that we have a larger quarry, we're going to need more storage room. So just get yourself a wooden transport pipe. And it's just the same as a cobblestone. Just replace your cobblestone with wood. And three should do it. Now we can take a redstone engine and power these pipes. And to understand these wooden transport pipes, you can see there's a, a red square. This square indicates that it's going to pull from that chest and into this one. So you can see it's pulling from that one into that one, then pulling from this one and so on. And just with anything, you can also power these with redstone torches. Just place one in between the two engines and there you go. And same thing for the Sterling engines. Now with three engines, this is gonna be way faster. Let's just check it out. This course is about three times faster than the one Sterling engine version. This one mines three blocks at a time to the one with the first quarry. Now let's get a big quarry going to see how crazy we can get.